Many parents stress over where their child fits on the percentile chart. That's what pediatricians use to measure development. Now, you just saw Shanley, whose mom fears she's too small. Brian, on the other hand, worries that her toddler is too big. Take a look. My daughter Kelby was born well above the 95th percentile. She was nine and a half pounds and 23 inches long. Now at three and a half, she's wearing size six to eight clothes. She's over 50 pounds and she's 42 inches tall. The doctors are estimating Kelby will be 6'2 to 6'4. It's always hard to be different in any way, but something that's as noticeably as being a head taller than her classmates may cause her some trouble. Can I have some cold water? Verbally, Kelby seems to be at least two years ahead of some of her peers. I worry that people think she's so much older because she looks it and she acts it intellectually, but she doesn't have the social skills to follow with that. Dr. Phil, please help me develop a strategy to support and protect my Kelby. All right, we're going to do just that, but I've brought in some reinforcements. I want to introduce Dr. Harvey Karp. He's an MD, renowned expert on children's health, and the author of three child development books. Now, Dr. Karp is an assistant professor of pediatrics at the UCLA School of Medicine and has a private practice in Santa Monica. He probably couldn't get in, but he's got a practice out there. We'll ask about that. Dr. Karp, welcome. Thanks very much, Doc. So, um, so Brian and Annette are kind of on different ends of the continuum in terms of this percentile stuff. What's up with all of this? Well, you know, a doctor tries to do the best job possible when a parent comes in and says, is my child okay? And we have different ways of figuring that out. So we'll check blood pressure, for example, and see is the blood pressure too high or too low. And weighing and measuring a child's height is the same, same thing. If the child fits in these curves that you're talking about, in general, that's a sign that they're growing in a good way, that they're healthy. And if they're outside the curves, it doesn't mean that they're not healthy at all, like you were pointing out. But it is a red flag to follow up and to maybe ask some extra questions to make sure the growth is normal. Yeah, now, now, Bryn, you're at the 95th percentile, right? Yes. All right. And tell me your concerns about that. Um, because I, she's good size, right? 42 inches tall and 50 pounds, and she's three and a half. She acts like a three-year-old. Everywhere we go, people expect her to be four or five. When she mm -hmm. answers, they say, how old is she? She says three. And even adults' immediate response is, no, you're not, honey. And they look to me for confirmation on their own statement when she's telling them like it is. Mm -hmm. So that you're saying there's just a reaction because she looks more developed than her age. Right. And, and you fear when she starts school soon yes. that she's going to feel out of place. She's bigger than her classmates. She's not going to fit in with, with everybody else. She can't share clothes with her friends. She outgrew her car seat early. She outgrew the backpack we had early. What do you say about that, Doc? Well, I mean, we all like to fit in, and, and Kelby wants to, will want to fit in as well. I would say one thing, though. You, you did make a comment about what she'll end up being when she's an adult. And as you saw on the graph before, she may be tall now and big now. It doesn't mean she's going to end up quite that big. So I don't think that you should hang your hat on that six foot two, um, you know, prediction that was put up. Basketball star. <laughs> <laughs> well, she'll be big. I guarantee you that. But but you can't just you can't just extrapolate or predict from where she is now and ha where she's going to be later on. It's a lot of time in between now and then. And I think we also need to think about the fact that when we talk about starting school, children aren't near as aware of some of these differences as you, you might think or predict. Uh, for example, it's usually at least age five before they really master the concept of same and different and before they really master the concept of like self versus other. Now that doesn't mean they don't, this is my toy, leave it alone. But I'm not sure that there will be as much awareness about that as, as you might fear from those children. And you're on the other end of the continuum, right? Yes. Because yes. you're at the 25th percentile yes. with, with your child. And so you're concerned that, that the child may be sickly or underdeveloped in some way that way. Yes. Um, she's a little girl with a big appetite. She's almost on a newborn schedule. She eats so much, yet it's just um, hard to for her to even get the weight on. 
she st just struggled just to keep at the 25th percentile. Mm -hmm. And people look at her, oh, how old is she? And when I say eight months old, they look at me like, are you not feeding this child? She only looks five or six months old. Mm -hmm. So it worries me that what am I, am I not doing something to help her along? Okay, and, and so you're wondering, have you made a mistake? Have you messed up in some exactly, way? Exactly, exactly. But are, are you, I mean, you're, you're feeding the child well. All the time. And you're loving the child. And Absolutely. being nurturing in that way. And you're providing safety for the child. Yes. At that point, it comes down to just some physical metabolic things that are going to happen or not. True? As a doctor, there's a pediatrician. The, you don't just look at where a child is at any one point on the curve. You look at how they're growing over time. So, for example, if your child's at the 25th percentile and last visit they were at the 50th percentile and last visit they were at the 90th percentile, they're cutting across the curve, and that would be a, a red flag for me. On the other hand, if they're at the 25th each time, that's probably the growth pattern that, uh, that she's going to establish. She's just going to be a little bit more petite. Okay. Yeah, and that doesn't mean that, that there's bad things in the future necessarily. It may, it's just where you are. Somebody has to be at the 25th or there wouldn't be one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right? true. True? You got it. All right, up next, answers to some very basic yet anxiety-provoking child development questions.